Hello, and for the third time in a row, welcome back to another episode of Johnny's Childhood Game. This episode, for the third time, I am playing Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Mega Drive. So for the third time, sit back, relax, and for a third time, and more importantly, <laughs> Enjoy the live stream. I mean, I'm so sorry about this, man. I think I may have fixed the problem, but at the same time, it doesn't make any sense. I basically have my broadcast uh, display settings turned up to the max. Into a clip channel at this stage, rolling oh, it is, nothing. man. I swear to God. Johnny Clip Gaming at this stage, man. Uh, so I have my video quality, broadcast quality on full 4K 60 frames per second. That might be an issue, but at the same time, why is it only an issue lately? It's a strange one. Like, as I was saying earlier before the fucking thing cut me off, I did a broadband speed test, and it confirmed that I have my amazing 32 megabyte broadband speed, because that's the speed I have. Uh, so there was no issues with the broadband speed. And I did a connection test on my PS5 itself. And I had no issues. So... Yeah man, it's a strange one and it's an annoying one. I swear to god, I don't think I have the patience. I, I am. But I've always been using the pulse headset, so that's the thing like. I hate, do you know what, I hate, do you know what annoys me, and as you know, there's a lot of fucking things that annoys me, because I'm a full on boomer at this fucking stage, but, it annoys me like when the fucking problem happens out of nowhere, do you know what I mean like, like do you know what I mentioned earlier there about that I have my broadcast settings turned up, like, broadcast, uh, broadcast resolution settings turned up to full 4K at 60 frames per second, and I thought that might be the issue, so I've always had those turned up fully like, and I've been, play I've been streaming games like Resident Evil Village like in, in full 4K 60 frames per second and there was not an issue. Like why does I mean, know that it's happening? And I've always had my pulse head says, he ugh, pulse heads are turned on. Oh man, it's so frustrating. I swear to God, if it happens again, I don't think I can actually handle it. Probably cry. I blame Phil Spencer. I don't know why, I just do. But you know the Switch Pro though? That's... I swear to God, man, I, I actually will bet you 20 euro that it, that it won't be announced. Because the rumours said that it would be announced before E3. Now, I know technically it is before E3, but like, I don't understand why Nintendo would announce their E3 plans and not mention the Switch Pro. The like, headset takes 5 gigahertz bandwidth to run, really. It has been a bit slow before. Your intros were always buffering and a few here and tea. Ah oh, fuck, you're probably right man, to be honest with you. Maybe like, maybe my fucking headset just finally killed my fucking internet connection. But still though, it's still, it's still sauce like. Do you know what I mean? It's still fucking, why no like? Back in a way like. I know my introductions are buffering. The last few days was terrible though. Yeah, but like, what about weeks ago and months ago? I was like streaming games that had like massive... I was able to stream bug snacks, like, and that's, that game looks absolutely insane. <laughs> when it's open. But yeah, I was, I've streamed some pretty big games, like, and on full resolution, using my, my Pulse headset, like, and there was no issues. Oh, really? I don't know what the hell is going on so like because I did my broadband speed test and oh god and it said that it, it was fine like the speed was fine oh, I'm not gonna die in the first That's encounter you mean 2400 p 
the greatest looking, greatest playing game of all time. Game of the year, game of the century. It's Bug Snacks. 100%. Should have been a switch game. A switch needs to be a It probably will come to the switch at some stage, to be honest. Oh, damn it. So when I used to play this game as a kid, the music used to motivate me. I was like, yeah! Let's fucking do it. Just sitting there, leaning towards the TV. Announce a summer event. Uh, I'd say there will. There will be a set of player for uh, around E3. Because they're not going to be at E3, apparently. But I'd say they'll definitely have uh, some sort of an event anyway, like. They'll probably announce it now very soon. Because, I mean, like, they have to announce book snacks too, like. Come on, like. <laughs> oh, God. They're gonna kill me. I don't want a state of play. Their event last year was the future of gaming. Um, I would like, a, 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 you know, like, instead, like, like, as long as they show, as long as they show, like, new games, like, it can be a state of play, it can be a summer showcase, like, they can call it anything, really, like, do you know what I mean, like. And like, they don't necessarily have to be an E3 physically, it doesn't have to be like an E3 event, like as long as they have some sort of event that shows new games, that, that, that would be good enough, like. Like, it would be disappointing if they had nothing, like if they literally just did nothing. Nintendo like, Whack House, El Boca. <laughs> the Nintendo Whack House, straight after the, uh, the E3. The funny thing is, they're actually this is the first time that they did, they actually haven't called it an E3 Direct. They used to call it Nintendo Direct at E3 or something. But funny enough, though, the Treehouse thing is called Nintendo Treehouse at E3, so it's a strange one. But I'm telling you though, they're not going to announce the the Switch Pro. I honestly think I honestly think that all the Switch Pro rumors, like I think they got their, their wires crossed. Like they, there was originally a Switch Pro. But I'd say, recently enough, like, I'd say within the last few months, possibly, I'd say Nintendo themselves changed, like, changed their plans, the plans that everyone was, was reporting on, like, uh, and I'd say that's going to be a Switch 2, and it'll probably be announced, like, I don't know, it could be announced, like, later on this year, or, like, early next year. Or they could do what they did years ago. And another port of Mario 64. <laughs> <Albuquerque>. <laughs> do you know what, man? If, if they give it, if it's, if it's a port, I'll fucking cry. But if they, like, I would love a full-on uh, Super Mario 64 like remaster or even remake. If they do that, I'll be happy. Oh, but they're definitely not going to show us which Pro. I can, I can tell you that much for a fact. They'll, do you know what though? They'll probably do what they did with the NX. Remember the, the the NX days where nobody knew what the hell it was. IGN were like Nintendo new console NX. Uh, I remember it was E3 of 2016, I think. God, I don't know. It might have been 2015 or else it might have been 2016. But Reggie Fizeme, he literally just said like uh, he was talking about the future of Nintendo, and they said. We'll talk more about the NX next year, right? So I'd say what will probably happen, what could happen, during the uh, event, the fucking direct. Even though Nintendo said that the five toned down and downgraded edition. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! Well, you wouldn't have to downgrade a fucking PS3 game, though. To be fair, um, so like, like they could 100% like bring GTA 5 
on the Switch. It doesn't have to downgrade anything. Um, but it, I'd say what could happen at the Nintendo Direct is they could mention, like very briefly mention, like a, a new Switch, like a Switch 2, and say we'll talk more about it next year. But they did say though that they would only uh, they'll be focusing exclusively on software, like games, like so. I don't think there's going to be a Switch uh, Pro or anything like that. Um, sure. Hello. Man, I, I can't wait for the uh, moved GTA 5 on PS5 now with more grass. <laughs> oh god. You know what man, if they if they actually had a story expansion and I mean like single player story, you know. I'd actually consider buying it. But there's no way like I'm gonna get excited for like more details on the fucking grass for an 8 year old game for like fucking 70 or 80 quid <sighs> I mean not a chance but we won't talk about GTA 5 no because it'll be hell on me fucking hate those caterpillar enemies What did it go down there for a second? The stream. Man, I'm gonna rage. I'm gonna full on rage. Yes, and now it's back. Oh well thank god for that, but I swear to god I don't know what the hell is going on with my live streams lately. But it's so annoying. So you know what I was saying um, earlier in the previous live stream before the second thing went down? Do you know if you actually if you actually uh, took a step back and actually thought about video games? Hey Sonic, don't get look at look how cheeky Sonic is. Look at this. Watch now. He's not patient. He's like, I don't have all day. I'll be up tapping his feet now. I'll fuck you into the lab. I don't know Sonic, and you'll be fucking Kentucky Fried fucking headshot, yeah? But um, if, if you actually looked at a platformer like Sonic in a realistic way, like where in the world would you see environments looking like this? Do you know what I mean? Like, belongs in a museum. It's so <laughs> on the floor laughing. Yeah, but like it is an old, it's, it's ancient, like it's ancient. But I've never had these problems before. I've had that I've had that rotor for oh Jesus, but I've had that rotor for like I don't know, man. Like 15 years? It's ancient. But Virgin Media are spastics. Top of the morning to you, Johnny and Damien lad. Mr. Middleton, welcome back to another episode of Johnny's Childhood Games. Welcome to Green Hill Zone. This episode, I am. Oh shit. I am playing, of course, Sand the Hedgehog. Still having those technical issues with the live streams chat, so uh, bear with me. But yeah, like I, I would love to have a new router from Virgin Media, but they're assholes. They're absolute assholes. They can't just give me a new fucking router and take my money for it. They're like, no, you have to sign up to a new package. You. Ah. I'm sorry, Chad, I'm in a joke. My attention. I see you're a man of Irish culture now, Chad L. Boca. Oh man, he's, he's, he's well in there with the Irish culture, man. He's more Irish than myself. A-R-C-H-I-V-E.org-slash-D-E-T-A-I-L-S-slash-S-U-P-E-R-M-A-R-I-O-B-R-O-S-1-993-T-H-E-M-O-R-O-N. 
dash J A N K E L dash C U T dash E X T E N D E D dash V H S. Can I watch your dirty videos? Normally joking. I don't have my phone Super near me. Mario Brothers director's cut. L ah, Brothers. thank you. That is ancient. I have to watch that. Thank you. I'll watch that later on now. My phone is uh, away from me. I'm just too fat to go near it. It's charging up, you see. I'd love to know why it took so long to get the deleted scenes for that movie, actually, to be honest. I'm surprised that Shigeru Miyamoto isn't fucking out there trying to fucking, like, ban people from viewing this, because he just does not want to associate himself. I would not associate myself with this movie, is Shigeru Miyamoto. I mean, would you blame him? I mean, I, 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 to be honest with you, I watched the movie, I thought it was alright, like, but it's obviously, like, like, it's obviously very, like, <laughs> like, it's not... It's just not an authentic Mario movie, do you know what I mean? But if you watched it and just didn't think of Mario, like, you'd actually enjoy it, like. But the new one, no, the animated one that's coming out, I think it's coming out next year or the year after that, would be Watch good. Before Nintendo and me are no I'll stop, man, you'll fucking Bring be knocking at my You'll be knocking at my door, the fire flower. Fucking Shigzy. But uh, the new one, no, will be should, should be alright because it's uh, Illumination Studios that are working on it, and the founder of Illumination Studios is now the actually greatest in... film of all time, better than every game Miyamoto ever made. El Boca. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still not better than uh, Bug Snacks, because like Bug Snacks is just the greatest game of all time. Oh <gasps> shit! Ah, uh, bollocks! Damn it, I know. El Boca. I just can't wait until the Bugs Next 2 gets announced. Do you know what? I'm going to tell you something funny. And I, I, I just, I, I, I should have... Like... I agree, man. Mario games are overrated. Bug Snacks goated El Boca. Oh, definitely. Like, Bug Snacks makes Mario look like... Looks like... Makes it look like, uh, fucking... Alone in the Dark. On the Wii. And that says something. But you know what, all joking aside, though, you actually do think that 2D Mario games, and I've actually said this uh, a good few times, and to an extent, like, even some 3D Mario games, I actually think that they actually are way overrated. And all joking aside, no, I'm not joking here, no. I actually said this in a lot of my live streams when I was playing uh, Sackboy Big Adventure, Odd World. Mario still looks 240p in the Mario <laughs> 64 Switch port, El Boca. Oh, 100 man, they did nothing with that port. They did nothing with that port at all. Like, I know people say, oh, well, uh, you know, did a few things and they made it look better in the HD and whatever crap. But yeah, you're right, man, they did nothing with that game. But, um, no, seriously, I actually do think that Mario, in general, well, definitely when it comes to 2D Mario games, anyway. It's just, it is it is overrated. Like, I've played platformers like Stacked by Big Adventure, Odd World, and Crash Bandicoot. And all those platformers has done so fucking much more, like, than what Mario has done in recent years. Like, Mario just plays it too safe a lot of the times. But I'll be honest with you, more, more 2D than 3D. I mean, to be fair, I, like, Super Mario Odyssey, like... That was really out there, like, you know, it was almost open world to an extent, and it had a lot of interesting ideas, like being able to become any enemy, well not any enemy, but you could like take control of some enemies in the game. I think it was every enemy, though, I don't know, I can't remember now. But the whole happy thing, like... If Nintendo tried to acquire Sega, what will Sega do considering the past rolling on the floor laughing? I'd say that if that did happen, I'd say, like, Sega and Nintendo, like, they would have moved on from their, from their, uh, rival days. I'd say they trust Nintendo, do you know what I mean? Like, because, I mean, who wouldn't be genre, like, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, they could definitely do with, if they did, if they did come to that stage, like, they could definitely do with, the, like, the expertise of, uh, of, um, Nintendo. But then again, in saying that, 
what I was just saying there after playing platformers. Delayed to 2022. I and Sonic will sell more on Nintendo consoles. I think Sonic will sell more on them. Oh, definitely, 100%. It seems right, doesn't it? Like uh, Sonic, if if there was ever going to be an acquisition of Sega from the three big companies, it would definitely make sense for uh, Sega or for Nintendo to be the ones to to acquire Sonic, anyway, at least. Um, yeah, it would make sense because I I believe that yeah, all the Sonic games have sold more on Nintendo consoles and. Chad, I don't think it's been delayed as such. Like, it's a ball that we have to wait until 2022 to play it, because I really wanted it. I swear to God, the second I completed the God of War, like, uh, like the, the God of War, like, reboot on PS4, I swear to God, I wanted to fucking play the sequel then and there, like, I really did. I, I don't think they actually gave that game a release date, so it's 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 kind of unfair, and I don't want it to sound like one of those like fanboys. It's unfair to Nintendo say a bad did thing. Acquire the studio that developed Luigi Mansion 3. You did, you did, so we never know, man. They could acquire anybody and anything at this stage, man. But yeah, they acquired that studio. I think it was Next Level Games, isn't it? Or was it Level 5? Yeah, Next Level Games, I think. But Chad, it's, it's like, you know, again, like when I was in 2021, but everyone knew 2022 straight off the battery. Oh shit, I'll take it back, so. Yes, Next Level. Next Level, thanks, man. I'll take it back, so. Okay, so it was technically this delayed, but you're right there, man. I think a lot of people... Why do I keep falling in this exact spot? I think a lot of people, you know, because of, like, the whole pandemic, you know, into, like, affecting video game releases. I'd say a lot of... As you said there, then, a lot of people would have expected it to get delayed anyway. I'd say people are going to be snapping at Nintendo's Direct at E3. Because of COVID. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're going to re... I, I swear to God. Watch. Watch. I bet you Breath of the Wild 2 would be like coming out in like 2023. Metro Prime 4 would be like delayed until the Switch 2 or something. I guarantee you. They'll have other games. Like they'll have the two Horizon new Pokemon games. Oh, Horizon is on track, man. Thankfully. But I'd say there's going to be a lot of uh, disappointed Nintendo heads after E3. Nintendo has confirmed the E3 event will be software exclusive. That means in one hour the Switch Pro will be announced. <laughs> it doesn't, Chad. It's not going to be announced. People are latch. I swear to God, man. I. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what I'm looking? Do you know what I'm looking forward to most about E3? Is when it ends. Why is that? You may ask. Because when it ends and there is no confirmation. Actually, no. Fuck that. Scratch that. Before E3, because those fucking rumor heads were saying that the Switch Pro would be announced before E3. Actually, that's what I love about rumor heads. That's what I love with the leakers, and the insiders, and the reporters, and them is the fucking know it is It's the fucking backtrack what they say. They, those fuckers say, right, that the Switch Pro will be announced before E3. They can't go back from that now. They can't go back from that now. The bastards. They can't. I swear to God, I strangled them. Yeah, Bloomberg said that it will be announced, Switch Pro will be announced before E3. Yeah? They'll so, announce it in September and release in February, El Boca. But that's what's funny though. <laughs> well, fuck yeah. Let's say they do that. Let's say that. Let's say you're right, Daniel. Let's say that's what happens. Let's say they'll announce it in September and release it in February. Let's say that happens, yeah? Then that means that those fucking leakers and Boomerberg and IGN and Eurogamer and all those people were wrong. Because they said it would be announced before E3. And they'll probably come out then and they'll probably say, oh, well, uh, uh, I, my sources tell me that the person that was supposed to put the announcement together. Well, he, he, he fell down a few steps, he hurt his leg, and it prevented him from making the announcement. But I can definitely tell you, after hearing from my friend's dog, who works at Nintendo, I can tell you that it will be announced after E3. You know, it, never, it never ends. Like, these promo rumors are going around since 2017. Like, literally the year where the Switch released. I swear to God, they're like a dog with a bone. Or like a dog humping a fucking leg. Because they won't let go with this. They just can't let it go, like. Bloom Funberg will push it because COVID or Cyberpunk. <laughs> El Boca. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> it's crazy, though, isn't it, lads? I don't know, I, I've been saying since the start, like, I don't know how I feel about the Switch Pro, like, I don't really <sighs> need it. I 
Pikachu in one, I'm probably gonna end up playing Jeopardy. But it, as far as... Do you know what, no, on a level of 1 to 10 of how excited I'd be for it. I'd say I'd give it a 5 at max. Oh yeah, Chad. Any more than that? Oh, uh, what did I got there? But you know what though? If this Switch Pro or Switch 2 or whatever they call it, Super Nintendo Switch, that's been trademarked by Damien. Um, if it has broadcasting abilities, right? I'm all over it. Ah, oh, not yet. Hopefully soon, man. I'll be all over it. Because it would just—it would mean that I can stream m more games in, like you know what I mean. I'd be fucking streaming like ten times a day, like with PS5 and Switch. But it probably won't happen. But you know what? Though? They'd be stupid if they ignored it. But then again, this is the company that in 2021 Stay away still from Johnson and Johnson's and AstraZeneca elbow cuff. Yeah, man, they're fucking they're, they're dodgy ones. But um. Did you guys get the vaccine? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Our age group hasn't been uh, announced yet. But um, yeah, like we're talking about a company like Nintendo that still to this day in 2021 limits their online. Well, not in all their games, but in some of their games, limit online to um, to only friends on uh, your friend list, and it's retarded. What was the game that I was snapping over? Oh yeah, um, Super Mario 3D World. Like, you can only play a Super Mario 3D World uh, online with with friends on your Switch. Like, on your Switch list. Like, it's just... This is 2021 we're talking about here, like. It's, uh, it's absolutely fucking crazy. That's the thing about Nintendo, yeah? Uh... One step forward and two steps back. MG Airlines cared rolling on the floor laughing. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but blood clots and shit. No you know what, man? On the floor laughing. You know what, man? I'm the same. I'd be scared too. There's a lot of people scared about it. And I know, like, I know, like, my overall view is there's, 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 you know, there's side effects to everything. But I wouldn't blame you for being scared. To be honest with you, man, I wouldn't blame you. I would too. Imagine the end of your life comes from the vaccine rolling on the floor. There you go, man. There you go. The fucking the sinister irony of that, like. Just imagine it, like. That's exactly it, man. God. Oh, thank God I got that ring. Oh, come back. Got it again. Boss battle, finally. Dr. My friend Robotnik. got sick from the side effects. I didn't start COVID. Wuhan and the Who did El Boca. Wuhan and the Who. Oh, there's definitely a lot more to it then there must be like a fourth of the fish like 100 percent like this gotta be the easiest boss in the game honestly damn was he bad chad yeah it was what well, 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 was he Lanza stream seems to be okay now again properly. I'd say I don't know why it only happened now, but I had my broadcast uh, display settings turned up to the max, like 4K, 60 frames per second.
Do you know the way I can play this game right now, Sonic 1? And I can also you play... play. I have not the markets, El Boca. Oh yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Biological weapon, man. And it's not that fetch, you know, because like... So China have been attacking their people for years, and... I mean, let's, let's be honest, they probably want to attack other countries too. So it's not far-fetched, like, to, to think that, like, there's a possibility like that, you know, COVID would have been a biological weapon, like, created in... Nothing life-threatening, you know? thankfully. Ah, thankfully, chat, thankfully. So the way, um, I can play a Sonic 1, I can play a Sonic 2, and Sonic 3, and Sonic Pinball, and Sonic 3D. Mean Bean Machine. I can play all those games on this collection. It's amazing that Sega are still like releasing Sonic collections. Like there's one coming out, I think it's either the end of this year or next year. Uh, Sonic Origins. Why are they still releasing these collections? I mean, I remember on the GameCube, I had Sonic, I had Sega Mega Drive I just Classic get Collection. Or something. were afraid of Asians afterwards. It's the lab, not the freaking normal people, El Boca. Oh, exactly. It was fucking. See, that's what I'm saying. I like, guess that's, that's the insanity of uh, of these like extreme, like you know, like fucking crazy kind of you know conspiracy people. You know, there's there's always two sides to these kind of situations. But I think of, you you always get crazy people on on both sides. You know. Yo. It's Aiden's shadow. Could that be? Could that be the one and the only Aiden Denston? It has to be. It has to be. Is it? How's it going? Is it Aiden Denston? Can I get confirmation? Welcome. And I'm so sorry, but I literally only have five minutes left in the live stream. It has to be Aiden Denston. Yeah, it's Aiden Denston. It's Aiden Denston. Welcome back. I decided to do something different on my yes. channel. Uh, with uh, so this Johnson is an episode. Johnsons tried to appeal the talc baby powder issue. They were sued for two billion dollars. El Boca. Ah, uh, imagine getting that. What a settlement. Two fucking billion, like, and um. Aiden, welcome to an episode of Johnny's Childhood Games. So, uh, as you can see, I am playing Sunday Hedgehog in this live stream. So, uh, how are you keeping, man? I'm sorry that I won't have much time to chat because I literally have to end the live stream in like five minutes. But nonetheless, Aiden, man, great to have you in the live stream. I know you're a big Sonic fan. Oh, you're a fan of Shadow the, Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog. Dear God. But Shadow the Hedgehog will always be in the shadow of Sonic. That's my terrible joke. Well, is that really a joke, really? It's terrible, Sonic nonetheless. The Wolf, oh, stop, Sonic the I mean, Sonic. Like, it's crazy, like, the amount of times that Sega have experimented with Sonic. Like turning him into a werewolf and everything. But I can't just like I can't just develop a sequel to an amazing game like Sonic Mania. That's what the fans wanted for years. They wanted a 2D Sonic game that felt like the 2D Sonic games. Like not a half hour. Run off to the nearest store and pre-order the Switch <laughs> <and> <laughs> Definitely. Oh that reminds me, Chad, thank you for reminding me. One of the rumors now going around is apparently you can pre-order your Switch on Terza. So we'll see now. I, I, I guarantee you I'll be able to shoot down the first rolling rumor. Rolling on the floor laughing, rolling on the floor <laughs> laughing. I bet you I'll, shoot, I'll be able to shoot down the first rumor. I bet you know when Terra's there. Your crashed. Ah, no way. Do you know what though? That could actually be my stream, Aiden. I'm not sure. But, um... Watch now, because tomorrow now is Thursday. Watch. I'll shoot down the first rumor. And I guarantee you there'll be no Switch Pro. So how the fuck can they be... How the fuck can there be pre-orders? The, like, the thing would have to literally be announced now. I would literally have to go onto my phone right now, and go onto my newsfeed, and see Nintendo Switch Pro announced. Because how the hell is it gonna, like... I'm stuck. 
So yeah, I can't wait to shoot down also, the rumors. Also, did you hear they put a calculator on the Switch? They did, yeah. Game of the Year on the Switch, man. Have you, have you got it yet? I mean, like, never mind the new Pokemon, Aiden. Never mind. Never mind Monster Hunter Rise selling 7 million. Never mind all those games. What you really want is a calculator. Minor upgraded battery. Watch uh -huh. on the floor laughing. You know, that's all again. We're gonna upgrade the battery. See, that's. But you know what, though? Because nothing is official. Like, if, that, if that actually happened, the fans couldn't do fuck all about it. I mean, Nintendo could easily come out there and say, oh, there's a, there's a, new, there's a new model of the Switch where you can get better battery I think life. It will be a special edition of the Switch. Possibly Metroid. New I, I mean, nothing is gonna happen. That's, that's what's gonna happen. Nothing is gonna happen. What time is it? Nothing is gonna happen. I'm gonna finish this level and then... Ah, oh, I didn't realize it was off on close. I was gonna say I'm gonna finish this level and then the live stream. But now that I finished it, I'm gonna have to end it. Lads, I know it's been a short and sweet uh, live stream full of technical difficulties at the start. I had to do three separate live streams. But I think I fixed my technical difficulties now. For whatever reason, um, it only happened now, the, the problem only happened now. I had my uh, broadcast display settings turned up to the max, full 4K, 60 frames per second, and that was causing the quality of the uh, live stream to be affected. So I think I fixed the problem, I hope I fixed the problem anyway, so that's good at least. So, um, yeah, sorry for the short and sweet live stream full of technical difficulties, but I hope you enjoyed another episode of And I will see you next time. I'll, I don't know. I might do a live stream tonight, depending on how tired I am. Notification. Good bits. Oh, stop! Typical YouTube. We're going to send a, send a letter of complaint to YouTube for this stage, man. But uh, if I'm not if I'm not too tired, I will turn it on tonight. And who knows? I could be returning to talk about the confirmation of a Switch Pro. Who knows? You never know. You just never know. But uh, look at Sonic. Sonic is pissed off that I'm not uh, that I'm in the live stream. Sorry, Sonic. You should go off and be a werewolf somewhere else. So, yeah. I will see you in the next live stream. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.